Today we discuss the Fender American Ultra Telecaster. Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. But remember, you can always find us online at tarpleymusic.com. And please hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. So this is a Fender American Ultra Telecaster. So this is the step right after you get past the American Professional 2. First thing I have to talk about is this is uh, the color is called Texas T. And it is so killer because it is that black gold from a distance. When they took it out of the case, I thought, oh, cool, a black ultra. Not a black ultra. And then as soon as you hit that, uh, you see that gold underneath the flag. It's just like, oh. And so, uh, and of course, just the, the body color itself. But the ultras are very contoured. And once again, you really see that color pop out there from where the strung through is. Uh, the contour on the heel here and everything. So extremely comfortable against the body and extremely comfortable as you're getting way up on the neck on this thing. So uh, it's an alder body. There's a couple of colors, I believe, that have ash um, and then either rosewood or maple uh, fretboard, depending on the color. Obviously, this one is rosewood here. And this is a maple neck with a modern D shape with your classic sun. Uh, skunk stripe there and of course this does have uh locking tuners it is a bone nut and you get 22 medium jumbo frets now this is a compound radius neck so it actually goes from 10 to 14 so a lot of times you're solo playing you want a flatter surface a lot of times chord changes you may want more of a rounded surface so this literally goes from 10 to 14 and uh it's on the higher end guitars they do that compound radius and uh you, you can't really you can't really tell the change uh which to me is the magic of that is that it just seems a little easier to go up the neck than maybe it normally would or the chords seem a little easier than maybe it would on a really flat fretboard but it's really really killer uh stuff there so you got uh, your six uh these are actually chromed over brass so there's a lot of sustained out of these saddles here and, uh, and then, of course, you get this beautiful anodized pickguard. More ply pickguard just really makes the color pop. And then the electronics. So these are uh, ultra vintage uh, noiseless Telecaster pickups. Uh, it is a standard three-way, but it does actually have an S1 switch here on your volume knob. And what that S1 switching does is it normally your middle position would be the two pickups like this in parallel, which means they both hit the output jack at the same time. Uh, and but when you hit that series, uh, you hit this, it actually puts them in series. So you do get a little bit, uh, you really got four kind of settings or tones out of this. So you have your middle switch uh, parallel or in series. So that is your four settings there. So what I want to do is take you right to that. We're going to play some just real simple chord changes through some clean tones, go through all four settings that, add a little overdrive, and then you can hear the versatility of this telly. All right, so for our setup today, I've got the Ultra going right through a Fender Deluxe Reverb. This is the Tone Master series. So uh, we've got it going uh, direct out XLR into the interface over there. And then for the overdrive stuff, I'm just going through a great old Boss SD-1, the Super Overdrive uh, pedal to get some overdrive uh, into distortion on some of those tracks. So just like most when you're sitting here in this front pitch here with the Telecaster, we're in the neck position. So we're in the middle position, so this is both pickups and parallel. So we'll go to our bridge pickup or our treble pickup. You're going to hear a lot of that bite coming out now. Fourth setting on the Ultra, we're going to go back to the middle pickup. We're going to hit our S1 switching, and this puts the uh, both pickups in series. So I'm going to go 
between the parallel and the series so you can hear the difference. The series you're going to get a lot more output and thickness, uh, but you're going to get some really kind of a choky middle uh, middle tones when you go into the parallel. So both great. So here's parallel. Series. A little parallel if I'm up here doing... some stuff. A lot of great versatility. So you're going to hear that same versatility when you go to overdrive. So I'm going to go back into our normal mode here. I'm going to put on the uh, super overdrive and do the same kind of stuff that I just did. And here we go, right here in the neck position. Middle position, parallel. Bridge pickup. So we're going to go back to the middle position and we'll put our S1 switching. So here it is in series. Parallel. Series. So we've heard this cool guitar on its own, both clean and dirty. So let's hear it in the mix with some other tracks. All right, hit it, boys. So the Fender American Ultra Series, we've actually done one on the Strat also that you can check out right here if you would like to go check out the Ultra Strat. Both of these guitars are amazing. They both have an S1 switching to give it that extra little function um, passed from the traditional Telecaster or from the traditional Strat. And as you could hear, I mean, it really gives that great uh, beefy tone if you need to kind of step up maybe your overdrive or your rhythm part and make it a little thicker, it's there. This guitar is so comfortable to play. The contours are on amazing. Easily get up to 19th fret. Nothing is in the way like I showed before, the way this heel is sculpted. Stays in tune extremely well. Brass saddles for sustain. Locking tuners. I mean, it's just, it's everything that you need to have a Primo instrument. Uh, neck feels great. I love the modern D. Um, you know, if you, you literally think of the letters as, you know, kind of the, the shape of, of how that neck is. So a, a D shape is going to have a little bit more of an ovally back to it, which I think is versatile for most types of hands. Uh, it's an incredible guitar. So we actually at Tarpley have Ultra Strats and Ultra Tellies. So best thing to do, come on down, go to uh, one of your Tarpley stores and uh, pick it off the wall and, and play it. Hit that S1 switching and go back and forth. Then you'll just realize I've got an extra voice in my arsenal on this guitar. And uh, I mean, who can't use more voicings on the same instrument, right? With a simple push of a button. So just amazing. This color, just we can't stop looking at it. Like when you walk... Uh, past the wall, you know, you can see it goes from kind of black to gold as you're walking by it on the floor. Super cool. There's some other great colors too. Um, and like I said, depending on a couple of the colors, it might be a uh, maple fretboard. And I think there is a color. I think the original three cone burst, you can do either uh, from there. But the rosewood really works for this. I think you can get to that bridge pickup. You can still get a lot of that telly, kind of a chicken picky sound 
if you need it. Extremely versatile. So I hope you got uh, some information as excited about the Ultra Telly as I am because these things are crazy cool. Um, if you uh, enjoyed it, please hit the like button down there for us. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, if you'd like to know as we drop more videos, we drop videos every single week and we're just going to keep on keeping on. So if you'd like to know, just hit uh, turn on notifications. We'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.